Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, so today I have a really fun drill for us. I call this one shimmy strength. And it's all about, uh, as dancers, we have a hard time sometimes finding the time to carve out for our dance practice. And sometimes we really have to make a decision. Am I going to practice belly dance today? Am I going to work out today? Am I going to get a chance to do anything today? So this fun little drill combines a couple belly dance basic moves with strength conditioning, which is so important for us as dancers. So we're going to work a little bit um, with, and you can do this at home with any move, but today we're going to work with the choo-choo shimmy, and we're also going to work with plank pose on our yoga mat. So if you have a yoga mat, you can feel free to roll that out. If you do not, that's okay. As long as you have a space that's clear that you feel comfortable uh, using for this, you should be okay. So we're going to follow kind of what we call a Tabata style or hit in the fitness world. And that is we do a short sequence of one move and then we alternate with a sequence of a different move, working different muscle groups. So what this is going to do is it's going to challenge us and bring the heart rate up a little bit. Um, working with plank, and I'll show you in a minute what we'll, we'll do, um, is good because it's going to work our upper body. Uh, which is always important in belly dance. I can't tell you how many times I've spoken with people, especially if they're brand new to belly dance, that their arms get so tired just even holding them out to the side. So always good to work on that. Also, of course, plank is one of the ultimate best exercises for abdominal and core strength. So um, just as a quick review of the movements, we'll be working through three sets of the movement, the choo-choo shimmy. So for those of you who've never done it before, Basically, we're going to be patting the little feet, the balls of the feet, up and down, little tiny move, and as we do so, bumping our hips side to side. And this is different. This is not powered by the quadriceps as an Egyptian hip shimmy is. It's very loose and just very active. So if you're brand new to the choo-choo, feel free to just work on that. For my more experienced people, we'll be adding in in those three rounds of the choo-choo little movements. We'll be doing some twists, some undulations up to down, and even some traveling from side to side. So feel free to add those in as you feel, feel the need to. And then as we do that short sequence of each belly dance move in between, we'll come down to our mat and work on some things in plank pose for that strength portion. So for plank, you're gonna be straight like a board. Bottom is in alignment with the crown of the head, so not up here. Keep it down low. Here's our full plank position. If this is too much for you, modifications are down on the knees, again, hips down low, and or press down onto the forearms. That's fine, as long as the hips are low, you should still feel those abs and core engage. So we're gonna be doing some movements. The first one is probably the most challenging. It'll be the walking plank, where we go down on the forearms and back up. We'll just do 10 of those because they are rather challenging. Second move will be knee to chest or mountain climbers. And for this one, it's a little easier. So we'll go for 20. And then last move is going to be side plank. So you pivot around, lifting up one hand. Modification for this is gently drop down onto that knee. We'll do little taps and then switch sides. So just follow along with me. I've chosen a piece of music for us. It's only about six minutes long, so we can, we can do it. I know it. <laughs> and you'll get the feel of it. I hope you enjoy. Okay. So, to start, we'll start with that choo-choo. So standing nice and tall, hands out to our sides, get up on the balls of those feet, and begin your choo-choo nice and loose. Little pads with the feet. So you may just want to work on this. Or, if you'd like, we can add a little twist. Twist. Twist, twist. This one's great for the waist. Remember to breathe throughout this. Choo 
statues are tough. Take care of you. If you need to come down to flat foot, that's okay. Building that strength. Four. big inhale up, arms down. Let's head to our mat for our first circuit. Make your way down into your plank. Just like before, take your modifications if you need. And then let's begin with our walking plank. Here we go. Those are tough, yeah? <laughs> Touch it back. Good. Come on back up. We're gonna keep this moving. Short and sweet. When you're ready, roll those shoulders back. And let's begin. Choo-choo again. Nice and relaxed. Good. So, you can just work on your choo-choo here. Or if you'd like to add that undulation, up to down, go ahead. Do your best. Try to complete the move if you can. It's hard with the choo-choo. Feel free to embellish it. That makes it more fun. go down for that plank round two. So we come down to our mat. This one's a lot easier. This is our mountain climbers. So we're gonna do knee to chest. So keep your tummy muscles in and just walk. Good, you're doing great. Breathe. Let's go for 10. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Good job. Stretch it back. And come on up. All right, guys. You ready? We're going to keep this going. You're almost done. We're going to go into Choo Choo last round. So go ahead. Standing tall. Start your Choo Choo. <laughs> Side to side. Reach out. Go to one side. Little snaky arms. Other side. Try that again. Reach. Other way. Remember to breathe. One more time. Reach. See if you can go around yourself. Let's take those hands. Swish. Swish. One last time. You got this. Good. Big shimmy. Arms down. Good. And our last circuit. Are you guys feeling hot? I am. All right. Come on down. Last circuit, side plank. One hand in middle, reach up. Again, you can bring that knee down for a modification. 10 taps. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go directly to side two. Flip, arm up, 10, nine, eight, Seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Go ahead, guys. Gently come down to the knees. Open the knees wide and stretch into child's pose. We'll take just a couple quick stretches. If you're standing right now, you can do the same stretch, reaching the hands forward towards a chair or wall. Take your hands over to the right, just stretching out the arms. And over to the left. Good job, did you guys like that? <laughs> it's fun to center. And let's stretch out the backs of our calves from that choo-choo, which really works those legs. So from hands and knees, tuck your t uh, toes under, lift up, downward facing dog pose. You're gonna lift the hips up to the sky. If you like, maybe press one heel and then the other down. Stretching out the backs of the calves, backs of the legs, and taking a minute to catch the breath. From here, slowly walk the feet up towards your hands. Maybe give yourself one more nice forward stretch. Letting gravity stretch out your back. And then when you're ready, nice big inhale. Come all the way up to standing, rolling those shoulders back. And good job. I hope you guys loved that shimmy strength segment. I'll come up here and there with some more of those segments for you. Good job on fitting in some dance and a little bit of strength training today. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Thanks, see you soon, bye.